Moving through the flow, the sun salutations play peekaboo, wiggle fingers. They love to see the movement and they're calmed by your breath. So keep that in mind. If your baby happens to need to be held, that's perfectly fine too. We can work with that. And um, I wanted to demonstrate just a few poses so you can do this safely. So mamas, if you want to pick up your babies. And we'll start by coming into Anjaniyasana, so crescent lunge with the knee down. So moving safely, right leg in front, so you're down on your left knee. And when you're working with your baby, hug your baby in towards your body so it's as close to your center of gravity as possible. Yeah, give them a nice squeeze. And then you want to make sure that you're nice and, and aligned. So what happens as we hold our babies is we kind of start to bend to one side or another. So make sure that you pull your right hip back and lengthen through your left side if you're holding your baby towards the left. Yeah. And just take a few breaths so you're getting more familiar with that pose. Good. And then if you want to move into a full crescent lunge, you may. So you can tuck your toes and straighten your back knee or you can use your hands towards the ground, yeah. And the same thing applies, you want to pull your right hip back, hug your baby as close in towards center as you can, and then lift from your core, for, so pubic bone to navel, lift up and in. Yeah, the, just think of the baby as giving you a little bit more incentive to engage. And then from there, let's open it up to warrior, warrior two. So once again, baby's in towards your midline. And you can switch arms as well if you want. You can leave, take one arm out to the side or you could hold your baby on the side of the bent knee. Engage your belly, so pubic bone to navel, and then lengthen up. So what happens is we start to tilt and dump in, and that's 